What's happening, Cody? What's up, Dave? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, it's a new year, isn't it? That's right. Uh, another day. Craziness. It's been a good one. Good. How was your day today? It was pretty good. You've yeah. been getting ready for the open or what? Yep. I'm gonna start doing that. Also, we're gonna I'm gonna be doing uh the North Cal, Cal or Northern California Classic. Oh here soon. On all fires are this weekend or this weekend coming up. So oh, game on, bro. Yeah. All right, you call me when you need strategy. All right, I like <laughs> Brandon has no clue what he's talking about. That's what I keep telling him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, today is Monday, January 3rd, and this is of 2022, and this is episode 131 of Fast Times at Kroger Fitness. Dude, 131 episodes. That's a lot. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing great. That's like a little bit over three years, huh? Or I think we've been doing it for over well, three almost, years. Oh, yeah. We have, but we've missed a few, so we're almost at three years worth. Mm -hmm. that's but true it's been pretty awesome yeah. um let's see this is the first episode of 2022 and the most important thing to talk about is that Kroger nutrition signups are open and live if you go to krogernutrition.com and click join now you can get signed up for um individual remote nutrition coaching we also have a new coach on the Kroger Nutrition crew, and her name is Ari. She's also one of our awesome coaches at the gym. So if you know Ari um, and you would like some nutrition advice from her, make sure you get signed up. Um, <clears throat> and I think the other important thing to note here is um, we've had a crazy two years. And um, I think this is, we're, it's not done yet, but I think this is a really good opportunity to kind of um, take a positive step forward for yourself, for your health, um, put some of that nonsense behind you, uh, lose some weight or gain some weight if you want, if you have another goal, but often our clients are looking to lose a few pounds um feel better sleep better think better all those things um which happen when you focus on what you're eating and the amount of calories you're consuming and and um eating for performance um while also improving your physique yes yeah if you want to do better in the gym Eating right outside of the gym definitely is probably going to, is going to help you move that needle, needle more than anything else. Yes, sir. Um, the food is the most important part. We love having you at the gym. It's really good for your health, um, long-term health, your sanity, all that jazz. But in terms of body composition, you got to dial that nutrition. You cannot outwork a bad diet. Definitely. So... Uh, if you have questions, ask anyone on the staff, uh, shoot me or Cody a note or Jill, go to krogernutrition.com, send us an email, nutrition at krogerfitness.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz, you know where to find us and we will get those questions answered for you. There is three more days to sign up in this sign up window. So if you're thinking about it. Get it done. You won't regret it. Yeah. Uh, we got some birthdays this week, Cody. Sure do. And uh, last week as well. <clears throat> so, oh, Grace. Yeah, Grace, who is um, up. Or is she, she might have just gone back down, but she was up for a couple weeks here. Um, Grace Kwok from UCLA. Her birthday was on December 28th. Happy birthday. Uh, Melissa. On January 3rd. Oh, that's today. Melissa's birthday was today. Happy birthday, Melissa. And then Ryson, birth, Ryson's birthday is on January 7th, this Friday. So happy birthday to you three. Congratulations. I hope you guys have a great birthday and have a great New Year's as well. 
For sure. Hey, I know you're not at the gym right now. Um, <clears throat> however, we like to give out digital high fives. You got any on the top of your head? <clears throat> I do. We have Tony. He squat cleaned or hang squat cleaned 195. Um, I know his goal is 200. And when I watched him do it, he definitely has 200 in there. Um, but we ran out of time. We we're moving on to the next thing. So he didn't um, get a chance to try it. But it's in there. So congratulations, Tony, for a 195 hang squat clean. Rocky did a hang squat clean at 200. <clears throat> and then next class, Ethan um, decided he was going to hang squat clean 205. So then he beat Rocky by five pounds. <laughs> really pumped on that. <clears throat> uh, then we have a couple Helen PRs from today. We have Annie PR'd her Helen um, and Ethan PR'd his Helen as well. Um, I think we have, do we have, I think we have another couple hang squat cleans. I think, uh, Cal was like 175, um, something around there, but, um, I might be missing another one, but a bunch of hang squat clean PRs and a couple Helen PRs today. I didn't see any tonight, but, um, I'm sure there'll probably be one or two more when I get back to the gym tomorrow. Uh, congratulations to you guys hitting those PRs. Great job. I love it. I also saw a bunch of PRs from CJ, did you give him a shout out yet for this, his laundry list of, um, Oh, all those. Yeah. We heavy think, lifts. He, uh, did that 2k challenge a little bit ago. We did a, a little thing for him. He crushed all of those, all of those weights. That was awesome. Yeah. It was fun to watch. Um, well, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that everyone's kicking butt and, uh, taking names. And uh, can't wait to keep hearing about all the big numbers on the board and seeing them all on social media. Yeah. Um, what is your nutrition tip for the week, Cody? All right. Well, I have um, talked to a few people about this, so it was uh, fresh in my mind. Uh, my nutrition tip for the week was eating more protein helps you feel satiated for longer. So it helps you with um, feeling hungry. Um, and eating higher amounts of protein can help curb uh, cravings that you probably have gotten from eating all of the sweets and pies and all the good stuff the last couple of uh, months here of the holidays. Um, protein just takes a little bit. It's a little bit harder for your body to burn. Um, it also just makes you feel a little more full for a little longer. Um, and it's also shown that it helps you um, with any kind of cravings. Not saying it'll go away. <laughs> You may still have cravings, but it helps. I like it. And what's our programming going to look for like this week? Yep. So you guys heard we did Helen today. Um, tomorrow we have a 35 minute AMRAP. It's a 500 meter row, uh, six Turkish get ups, and 25 ab mass sit ups. Um, kind of our longer workout for the week there. Wednesday, come in ready to get after it. Um, it's not very long, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be three sets of four minute EMOMs oh. alternating 18 thrusters and 12 burpees over the bar. You're going to oh. rest. It's in between. That sounds okay. gross. For some people, that's going to be a four minute AMRAP just getting after it. For others, it's going to be you're getting after it and you get maybe five to 10 seconds of rest every minute. But you got to be ready to get in there and uh, hurt a little bit. All right. And then after that, we'll do some stretching to finish that class off. <clears throat> That'll be Wednesday. I hope you guys. That sounds off. disgusting. <laughs> it is. Uh, then on Thursday, we have a find a heavy for a five hang power or five rep hang power clean. And then you're going to be followed by a um, 10 down to one of hang power cleans at 50% of what you hit for that day for that five rep max. And toes to bar. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hang power cleans, toes to bar. Uh, Friday, we have uh, 40 or three rounds of 40 dumbbell hang power snatches at a moderate weight. 200 meter of a overhead carry with a suitcase carry. It's going to be one of those um, opposites. Got yeah. him right now um but basically you're gonna have one hand overhead one hand holding um in a suitcase carry and they're gonna do a 400 meter wall ball run so we have another long workout right there might not sound long but 
those things do take a little bit of time. So again, three rounds, 40 dumbbell hang power snatches, 20 or sorry, 200 meter overhead and suitcase carry, and then a 400 meter wall ball run. On uh, Saturday, we have a partner wad 20 minute AMRAP. One person works at a time of 50 calorie row, 30 renegade rows, and then 10 dumbbell burpees. Break it up however you guys would like. And then to finish off the week on Sunday, we have the workout named Kelly. Five rounds, 400 meter run, 30 box jumps, 30 wall balls. Everybody's favorite workout. That workout is dirty. It is every time. I love it. Yeah, people love it. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty nasty week for week one, and I love everything about it. Good. Get after it. I just sent you a really good one for next week. Okay, good. I'll say so, it. Uh, I'm not going to let anyone know what it is, but it is It is nice. <laughs> um. We, Cody already had a quote of the week, but I uh, also listened to the end of uh, the book that I was listening to. So I have one too. I'm going to let you go first, Cody, for your quote of the week. Okay. Um, I saw this and I thought this was probably a good one for the new year. Um, Obviously, I probably saw it because it is the new year. Uh, This is a quote by Brad Paisley. It might be one of his songs. I don't know. Country singer. (laughs) <laughs> country singer yes if you didn't know uh tomorrow is the first blank page of a 365 page book write a good one it's a new like year it. you're about three days year. late but that's okay <laughs> that's true <laughs> so you started down. um the book i've been listening to is uh written by ryan holiday who's one of my favorite uh authors he runs daily stoic website and he's written a couple books called um ego is the enemy the obstacle is the way and a few others um a book right now is called courage is calling i just finished it today um and this one was kind of in the back half of the book <clears throat> and he was talking about um not surrendering so the quote is You must burn the white flag. Defeat is a choice and the brave never choose it. So that's my message to you for this year is no matter what comes at you, whatever you want to accomplish, the only reason you're not going to is because you choose to give up. And you're the only one in charge. Um, No one else is in charge. No circumstances in charge. You decide if you are going to continue or if you are going to stop and surrender. So don't. Right? That's right. Don't give up. You want to, doesn't matter what you want to do. You sign up for nutrition, you want to lose 20 pounds. Do it. You want to deadlift 500 pounds? The only thing stopping you is yourself not continuing to strive for it. So burn the white flag. I love it. Surrender. (laughs) All right. Um, Our question of the week, probably very fitting for the beginning of the year. The question is, what is your number one health goal for 2022? Cody, you got one? <clears throat> this is pretty tough. <laughs> for a guy that makes his living in health, it's probably pretty tough. Yeah. Um, I think it would probably be, oh man, number one though. <clears throat> um well, there's two that come to mind. I'm just going to say the one that I like that sounds better. Um, I would love a 275-pound snatch. I would love to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it goes pretty well. Once the once it starts to warm up, it's a little bit easier for me to warm up. I think it'll be, feel a little better. We'll see. I hope, uh, that, well, I hope I'm there for that moment. If not, I hope it's on video. We'll definitely be recording that if I ever <laughs> attempt it. When you get there. 
Uh, my health goal for 2022, I think it's probably two-sided. Um, I'm going to say more rest and more fun. I uh, can okay. Been doing a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> off the year so, with a bang. Huh? <laughs> Finished off the year with a bang. Yeah. More rest and more fun would be good for my health this year. So let's go do it. All right. Sounds great. All right, my friend. All right, buddy. Good chatting with you as always. As well. nights. Be lionhearted. See you next week. We'll talk to you next week. Later. Bye.